Okay, on this one we're going to actually do a tax invoice. Now, uh, we're going to use Bob's details again. Uh, the thing is, is what we're going to do this time is actually invoice out to a insurance company. So, let's choose new invoice from the list. We'll choose Bob. Bob. And come into vehicle types again. Now these vehicle types, they cover every vehicle that I could find right across the planet. So, uh, if you do find any, just give me an email and I can update that list, no problem. But as to date, I haven't been able to find anything. So we'll put Bob's details in again. His registration was Bob. And choose his car. Speedometer reading, whatever it was. It's for insurance details. Okay, now we're going to come back here and we're going to choose insurance. Now, the insurance company, uh, these are all preset with Australian insurance companies. Uh, you can just choose one and obviously it will choose it from the list up here. Or you can actually, obviously not everybody is in Australia, you can just edit this list. So you can either add a new company in there at the bottom, very simply, or you can delete one of these ones here. You can just delete. Now we come down to a claim number. Put a claim number in for Bob. Choose an assessor. Uh, same way as that you would a normal contact. You can either add a contact or you can choose one from Bob. He can be his own assessor. Okay. And an excess. If there's an excess here, you can actually just choose an amount. So let's say there's $400 excess. And we can either choose to leave that on uh, or take it off. Because we're uh, emailing this to the insurance company, we're going to take the excess off because in this country that's how it works okay so we come back through here and we're going to choose some more we're going to finalize our quote with all the prices that have been approved just the same way as we did before at any time we can just choose whatever we want and put whatever prices we want in there and when we come to save it, it now says finish tax invoice. It's got our amount. Now we've done this, let's pretend for a second that we've done this job at a dealership or at a body shop. And the body shop wants to get a little bit of a piece of the pie. So uh, you can actually give them a 10% discount or up to whatever it may be. Um, all the way up to 30%. You should not be giving more than that. But... Let's say it's 10%. We can just slide this slider to 10% and it recalculates all our figures. So what we started off with is 2,325. Less than 10% gives us that new total. And then it works out our GST and taxes and all the rest of it from there. So uh, that's a nice, easy slider little function that you can actually slide it back. And then when we go to save and print, it comes up with all our repair prices exactly as, poor, as we did in the first one. Insurance details, in this case we chose Bob again as his own assessor, wouldn't that be nice? And then when we come down, it's got a repairs total, less the discount so that the customer can see that, less the excess, which comes off the final price, which gives us our figures at the bottom here. So when we double click this, that will be saved as a tax invoice here in our documents folder. It's now 601 because obviously our quotes are getting different than our thing. We can make sure it's the right one, which it is. Now we can email that directly to the insurance company. Put your insurance company details in and send it straight to them. Bang, that's gone. That's to them. But there's also, because we've saved it as a JPEG, there's another way to do this. We can actually come into our phone settings, not our phone settings, just before our phone settings, we'll find photos. Now, because we're saving as JPEG, that means that they're actually getting saved as photos as well. So here, before we find his tick sheet on his vehicle, 
and we find the quote and we also find the invoice this is the invoice for it so if we were to save those and email those to the insurance company we can quite easily do that out of our phone settings you just click share click 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 this is a simulator of the iPhone so this won't actually be able to do that but on your normal phone if it's running 3.0 or higher you just get share attach these three photographs and send them all in one email in one hit it's also very handy when you use other uh, printing options uh, there's a there's an application on the iPhone iTunes store called print and share and there's another one called air sharing now both of these options give you the ability to print wirelessly on a network from your phone to a printer on your network. Now, they won't allow you to print out of your documents folder, but they will allow you to print photos. So there's also another one called HP Print. These options will obviously get more and more as time goes on. But at this stage, there's three main ones, and you can just choose these and print wirelessly from your phone. Very, very handy if you're actually set up uh, doing a lot of quotes. You could be outside doing the quotes and emailing them or printing them off back in the office without actually walking back in. Just have it set up on your network. Okay, so in this one we've covered how to do an invoice, uh, how to email in PDF format, and how to email and print in JPEG format. Um, in the next one we'll talk about maybe customizing, customizing the screen a little bit more and uh, how to reset it all back to your original settings. All right, I'll talk to you then.